Hi, I'm Steve Seville, the uh, Executive Director of the Flagstaff Family Food Center, Food Bank and Kitchen. Uh, right now we're sitting in the dining room here at the Flagstaff Family Food Center that's been located here for over 23 years, where we serve a hot congregate meal every night, seven days a week at 4 to 5.30, and we're serving about 300 individuals an evening for that. Uh, we've been doing that for, like I said, 23 years, so uh, no questions asked. You come in, you show, we try to uh, treat our clients with dignity and respect and professionalism. And uh, uh, from that, we uh, took on the uh, our only local food bank about 18 months ago, uh, which now we've expanded to eight unique food programs. And out of those eight unique food programs, we're feeding on an average about 44 to 45,000 individual slash meals per month now. Uh, compared to 18 months ago, we were serving about 5,000. It has been a huge undertaking. I can't say enough about our volunteers and our staff, um, but we had no idea really when we started this what the need was within our community. Hi, my name is Nicole Cook. I'm a volunteer of Family Food Center. I've been coming here for over 10 years, um, first as a client with my four children and now as a volunteer slash helper of both the food center as well as the um, direct warehouse. I love it here. My children have benefited from the reading program. We've benefited from the hot meals, and so as many of the other clients. We benefit the homeless, as well as the low working class. Um, my children love Hannah, we love Sharon, we love all the people in the kitchen, and we have really benefited from this program. My oldest son, he is now gonna be almost 18, has had two knee surgeries. And because of that, it put us in a financial bind uh, we had to come here and use the food services, both as food boxes as well as eating with our family. And it just really saved us, it really saved us, because without this, we wouldn't have had nothing. My name is Mari Cruz-Ribe. I'm the prepared foods bakery and specialty leader at the Whole Foods Market Flagstaff. So uh, we've been partnered with the food bank at this location for about eight years. We typically donate between 30 and 40 pounds a day, uh, sometimes more even. Um, and the great thing that we really like about partnering with the local food bank is not only do we save food waste, but um, we're able to help our local communities, both through you know, food boxes that people can pick up and hot meals for people who really need them. Uh, out of our eight programs, there is no need for identification. There's no need for what I call stupid human tricks, uh, no, no special behaviors. You just come in, uh, show up, and we feed you. There is just the one program that is subsidized through St. Mary's and our state government that does require uh, identification and proof of residence. Uh, and they can pick up those emergency food boxes once a month. Other than that, we uh, feed the homeless shelter every night, uh, 100 hot meals. We feed them breakfast burritos. We also service over 60 of our other nonprofit agencies that have food programs who come to our food bank and get the needs to support their food programs back in their own locations. Uh, we do lunches uh, in seven different social service agencies around town so people don't have to come to the food center to get a sack lunch. We also have another back, uh, back door lunch program that we serve about 2,300 sack lunches out our own back door uh, because we are open seven days a week from 10 to 6. We never close. Uh, in 23 years, we have never missed a meal. Uh, even when the city shut us down for the flat roofs and the five foot snowstorm, we had one of our wonderful volunteers show up and feed 18 burritos to the people that were standing outside our door. Um, so it's just, it's a very wonderful place. We're non-sectarian and that allows almost 60 churches in Flagstaff to serve their missions here. Uh, our volunteers, we couldn't do it without them. We have tons of NIU service community. Uh, we have lots of service organizations. And as you can see, we have a lot of children in the building. <laughs> It tells me we do have a reading room here also where we service over 8,000 children a year within our reading room, and uh, uh, which is actually the heart of our or entire organization. <clears throat> and we've been doing that for about 18 years now, uh, where we have five separate volunteers that come in and read to the children or have the children read to them. So it's really a neat, unique family food center, and uh, we do our best to try and reach out and touch the working poor of our community without our volunteers and our donors, there's just no way we could continue to address this community.